So this is the second Auto 8 unique watch on the channel. I really like what this brand is doing with their watches, not only because they have such a unique way of telling time, but they do it with premium materials. Again, this is a very solidly built watch and they have some really premium looking features that we're gonna get into here. So this watch is inspired by vintage motorcycles, specifically the tachometer, which tracks the RPM. So essentially this would be your zero to, in this case, let's just say the red line is 4,000, right? So we have our, our needle here, so you're revving the engine and it goes to 4,000 and then you're shifting and then goes to the end. And so it kind of has like that feel to it with the numbers going around and it gives it that tachometer feel. So I, I like that. The way that we tell time is actually, again, just like with the previous model that I showed you, it is easy once you get the basics. So this here the top numbers here this is going to tell you the minutes so we're at 0 5 10 and so on all the way up to 60 and then when we get up to 60 you notice that there is another needle right there that starts at 0 and starts it over again now you notice we have two big arrows so when we're at 12 o'clock is when you're going to see both of those large arrows including both of the needles pointing and that's when we're at 12 o'clock so that's the only time you're really gonna see both of those come into play for each but as we go along you'll notice we're at 1 o'clock so these needles will actually go 0 and 60 though they'll, they'll both come into play when it reaches 60 but after that it disappears into the bridge and we'll go back around when we get back to 60. So right now we're at two o'clock. Let's do 3.30, 3.30, four o'clock and so on. So again, pretty easy way of telling time once you get the gist of it, but you have to get used to it because it's a very unorthodox way of telling time. Look at the seconds. I like how that's continuous. Look at that, pretty, pretty cool. Now, as I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I like the way they use premium materials. I like the way that the, they're using this gunmetal look on the bridge. And look at the brush strokes on that. It's flawless, it looks very nice. Makes the watch look premium and it gives this watch a lot of depth. And I like the way they use the negative space on the bottom here where that sunburst green, which really shines, I mean, in that sunlight. But look how dark it is here. But look how it shines there. It all depends on the light. And it cat when it captures the light, it is really stunning. But it does give this watch this tachometer feel that um, I think they accomplished that goal for sure. Now, what's running this watch is a Miyota 8215 movement and we're getting the stainless steel but with that PVD black coating and we're getting that integrated case with the quick change system now I'm gonna zonk the watch on this quick change system because I can't get in there unless I have a tool so it kind of defeats the purpose right so what I take is like a, a wood peg and I was, I'm able to get in there, but it's really, really difficult to actually get your fingers in there. Um, I like the effort, but it just didn't, the execution wasn't there. Uh, we're gonna peel this off. I wanted to at least save something to peel off for you guys today and show you the Miyota movement here. I like how, again, they're using the brush the brushing on this gunmetal look on the rotor gives it just a little bit of that customized look, especially with that Infinity logo there. And you'll we'll see, we'll see the movement beating away there. We're gonna put this onto the time graph and see how it's running. We're also taking a look at the fact that we're looking at Sapphire Crystal, and I just like the way that they do 
the back of the case here. I think it just, I think they do a nice job. You know, it's a, it's not a highly decorated movement, but I think just the rotor just does it for me. You know, it, it's just enough to give you something to look at. Otherwise, what's the, what's the use, right? So it, it just, I like that custom look. Now, they did give me um, an extra strap because you can get it on the green strap, which I think it looks best on. But they did give me another option as well, which you can order with it. But it only does come with the one. So you can order this way or you can order it with this strap here. Uh, this is, I believe, yeah, this is black. It's like a crocodile embossed pattern. Genuine leather. And you do get the inf the uh, Infinity logo there. And you do get that on the buckle as well on both of these with the black. I don't even want to say black PVD, though. It's more like a gunmetal. So I'm going to go with gunmetal PVD coating. Now, I just noticed with the <clears throat> design language here, uh, the design aesthetics here on the side of the case, it goes along with the design aesthetics here as well. Uh, you see a lot of that going on so it does flow very well you do get a sign crown and you do get a bit of a coin edge but it's not full it's just just enough all right just enough there and it's not a screw down but you're only getting 15 meters of water resistance and look when you're wearing a leather watch you're not going to I'm sorry when you're wearing a leather strap uh, you're probably not gonna put it in the water anyway and um, look, this is a, a watch that they're marketing for those vintage motorcyclists or even just current motorcyclists that you wear it and it just looks cool. You know, it'll definitely strike conversation. I like the, the depth of the dial. I mean, look how far down the numbers go and how you, you get a bunch of steps here. You know, I think they, they really did a lot of detail here it almost looks like a piece of artwork you do get this like really look at this look at the distortion in the crystal here so you get that dome sapphire crystal okay and you get a little bit of a beveling there as well i just like the finishing i think they do a really nice job on their finishing the weight of the watch there's some heft to it and they're using a miyota movement which at the end of the day like you can't complain about so we do get Super Luminova. I'm going to show you guys the cool uh, loom shot on this one. And um, there you go. I think this is just one of those watches that, you know, uh, it's not for everybody. I'm going to show it to you on the wrist. And there it is on my 7-inch wrist. And I'll give you guys some dimensions as well. But, yeah, as I said, this is not a watch for everybody, but if you're looking for a unique watch that is going to be an icebreaker conversation starter, this is definitely, this brand alone, like just any watch on their website, these watches are going to get you the attention. And, you know, at the end of the day, I like their execution. So let's do some uh, measurements before we go. 40... 40, 40, yeah, it's a 46 millimeter. Yeah, 46 millimeter case diameter. Our thickness is coming in at a pretty chunky 15 millimeters. And we don't really have a lug to lug, but our thickness here is 22 on the strap. So there you go, guys. Uh, as I said, fun watch, very unique. You're either going to love it or hate it. And uh, look, if you want to check these watches out, I'm going to put it down in the description down below. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.